Hello, I'm David Shimo Takahara, founder and executive artistic director of Groundworks Dance Theater. I'd like to acknowledge the significant artistic contribution of Groundworks resident lighting designer, Dennis Dugan, who after 50 years lighting live performance will be stepping away from his lighting board to retire. Dennis has been a publicly silent but essential creative partner in my work since Groundworks began 24 years ago. Through the exact measuring of darkness and light and the alchemy of color, Dennis has created magic on stage for over 90 works that Groundworks has produced over the past 24 years, including 50 of mine, not to mention the scores of lighting designs for dozens of other organizations, primarily in dance throughout Northeast Ohio and beyond. Dennis's beautiful lighting has illuminated moments we will always remember. He's a special guy. I, uh, he's an artist. He's a veteran. He's a dad. He's a husband. He's a teacher. And he was a good friend. He's a good friend. Uh, so I don't think there's, it's the whole package deal with Dennis. From his initial experiences, seeing the Alan Nikolai Dance Company perform in the early 1970s, Dennis was fascinated by how light could transform our awareness of space and the human form illuminated in it. He is of a generation of American theatrical lighting designers who were largely self-taught. The tools and craft of lighting design were still in their infancy. Dennis studied the seminal work of Jean Rosenthal and learned the foundational cross-lighting concepts being developed by Ohio Ballet's Thomas Skelton. Hi, I'm Jane Startsman. I'm director of the Heinz Pohl Summer Dance Festival and a former dancer of Ohio Ballet. Working with Dennis, it's a dream. I mean, I, I always, always knew I never had to even think twice about the technical aspects of how our festival was going to come together, how uh, the companies were going to um, uh, produce their works, how the, how the works were going to look, how the companies were taken care of, none of that. Um, and that's really, that's really unusual. Lighting design, you have a very definite opinion. It's art, just like anything else, like dance style. Um, uh, lighting designers, you know, can have a, a certain look or a certain way that they light things. And um, whenever you see anything lit by Dennis, uh, it, it's, it's wonderful. It's like I said, you, you see the bodies, you can see the sculpture of the, the, the muscles, you can see the facial expressions. You see, you know, his his special effects um, make sense. I, I, I don't I don't even know how to explain it other than he really knows how to light dance in a very um, empathetic and, and beautiful, beautiful way. Dennis was drawn to dance. He talks about his appreciation for the discipline of dance and how dancers move through space. He is amazing in his uh, work ethic and his efficiency. And he can really, he motivates the crew and he is really someone who, who very organized and gets everything done. So he, he has been, um, you know, a, mar a marvel of efficiency in, in putting on our productions and making everything run smoothly. Working with him is, is excellent. He knows what he does and he does it extremely well and uh, he's an artist in his craft. So uh, that is one thing I never have to worry about. Um, that's one area with Dennis doing the lighting, I don't have to worry. Dennis was very um, adept at seeing the intricacies of movement. And one of the reasons that made him such a great lighting designer is because he could see see movement and he was also so interested in the ways that he could shape the body and the movement 
with his lighting and the placement of his lighting and his gobos and his cross lighting and um, the colors that he picked. He was not a, a white lighting designer. He used white light, but he, he was always wanting to use color. And so his lighting was always so exciting and extreme. What I like most about Dennis is how creative he is. Um, it, there are very few people who specialize in lighting for dance, and of course he is one of them and has been a major presence in this region for many, many years. And what I, what I see in his design work is his extensive use of color. There are some designers who sort of tend towards kind of like uh, black and white, if you will, colors um, in the use of the side lighting and whatnot. But his work always brings a lot of color to the stage. And I think that's really important to the performance because that helps to shape what the dance is going to look like so that it's not always the same lighting look. Um, you get something that is responsive to what is being done on the stage. Most of the times I'm putting in the shadow of the arm that's got the light coming from my head, to, in that shadow maybe a dark blue or a green or a red. So that's adding a texture and depth to the, to the, to the, to the body. And you're sculpting the body. Lighting design, you get to do, a, get to do it all. You get to, to paint it like a picture, okay? And you just have a distribution in color. You can sculpt it, same thing, using just, you can sculpt the body by adding different colors to different things. You can accent the muscles on the body. Uh -huh. and, and you also then you have to play it like an, like a, an, an instrument because you have to do a cue. And you have to relate to what, what the dance is doing. It can't go faster or slower. It has to meld. Over the years, Groundworks has produced a huge range of dance, drawing upon the diverse styles and influences of its collaborators. The scale of the work has reflected numerous creative partnerships with other organizations, from chamber ensembles to symphony orchestras, from site-specific installations to fully produced opera. Dennis met the challenges unique to each project. No matter the setting or context, his vivid lighting helped transform our experiences in unexpected ways. Thank you, Dennis, for being part of Groundworks and for bringing your artistry to this crazy thing we do. Thank you for what you have helped to create and share with so many. Here's to the never ending magic that happens in real time. The body, a simple action. Lighting Q50, go.